Okay, so here we are with the second set of these colors. And this is a 10 by 20 gallery wrap uh, from Michaels. And I'm doing the same colors, maybe not necessarily in that order. Just gonna kind of mix them up. I might not do all of them. It seemed like they were a little bit busy with that other cam the canvas I did just before this one. Um, so I might not use them all at the same, in the same bloom, but brace yourself. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to tilt this one. I finally am getting the nerve to do it. I've done them before, but I just, um, have a little hard time with composition. So let us do this. I'm going to do the Bordeaux mix first, right in the middle. And I think I'm going to leave the blue out this time, the ultramarine blue. And I'm going to do the Um, nightfall. Next. Then my luscious harvest gold. And then my light olive green. I already have butterflies, but I'm doing it. A little cell activator, and we are off and running. I can to mix some of that up soon. Okay, here we go. Hi, fan cool air. cell activator. I don't know, unless I'm not blowing it correctly. Unless it's just, I just need to make new. It just seems a little odd. Kind of goofed that one up. Looks like a bird. But that's okay. We're going to stretch it. We're going to tilt. Okay. I like these colors without the blue. I think it looks better. I do like the blue on the large one, but for this small of a canvas, I don't know. I think the blue would have been too dark. So let's do another one here. Just a small one. So we have a little bit of movement. We'll do another one here for a little bit of movement. And then we're good to go. All right. Oop. Ugh. Dropped right in the paint. My spin off. Okay. 
Okay, and last but not least, lovely green. Maybe I'll put a little bit more. Didn't show up very much in the center there. I'll just add a little jigger more. There we go. Okay. Now I probably have too much. <sighs> Alrighty then, colors look pretty. I hit the white there a little bit too much, but that's okay. These are pretty. I like the ultramarine blue, but I'm, I wish I would not have put it in that larger piece. But note to self, I will make myself a little note to tell me not to do that. All right, we're gonna just add a little bit to the edges there, just so that they kind of come off nicely without rolling over themselves. This is almost empty. There we go. Let that set up just a little bit. Time to tilt. I'm nervous. There, that's good enough. There we go. Alrighty. Just kind of work this in a little bit. All right, it's on my spinner, which is tempting me to spin. But I will tilt. It's so pretty. Ugh! Do I really want to tilt? Ugh! It's so, so pretty. All right, I'm just going to give it one little spin. Oh, it's got quite the grip. Okay, just one. And let's just see what happens. Forgot to cover my paints.
I just, I just, I'm just hooked with the, um, with the blooms and it's just hard for me to do anything else. Because that's really cool. That looks really, really cool. Don't you agree? Especially for such a small canvas. All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tilt a little tiny bit. That center is not moving yet in this one here. It does not want to move. I can't do it. I know you guys are going to be upset with me. I'm sorry. Let me just spin one more time and I'll see. I mean, really, that is pretty darn cool looking. But you have to agree with that. I mean, that's pretty cool. Even though I hit that white and the gold with the nightfall. Ay, yay, yay. So flipping cool. All right, where's my spoon? This will all come off when I spin it again. But it's just so that it just helps it along. I had great intentions of spinning, I swear. I'm really sorry that I didn't follow through, but I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with blooms in the spinning form. I just love how they turn out. And yet, every time I see a bloom that's tilted, I just go crazy because I love it so much, but I just can't get myself to do it yet. Okay. A good portion of paint is still coming off. 
I'm going to measure the center here. a little bubble there and then I will measure the center. Where did you go? There you are. Okay, here we go. Not bad. Looking good. I mean, you have to you have to admit that that's pretty darn cool. Don't you think? I mean, that's really pretty. I love this size of canvas too, because just for this reason, it's got a great view this way. You can do your three blooms in the center. They don't necessarily stay in the center. I love, I love this shape and this size. Okay, I'm going to take you down and let you see all the prettiness. Sorry for the jiggle. Seriously, isn't that pretty? Can you see that absolute gorgeous nightfall? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then look at that strip of gold. That's why I didn't want to tilt because it's just, um, it would have been all uh, taken away that line, I would have destroyed it. So it was best to keep it that way. Same with up here. That's fun. I love when it does that right there. These little cells. And then there's the bloom. Even though it went off, the center went off the edge. I love it. So I'm thinking that this is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And there is that absolutely gorgeous nightfall. There we have it. So thanks again for watching and letting me come into your home. I hope you all have a really good night. Bye.